Durwa's plight. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful flower garden with lots of lovely flowers. It stretched as far as the eye could see. The floor was covered with the soft and velvety carpet of grass. Birds and bees hummed in this green space. Their songs, coupled with the breeze, created nature's harmonic melodies. The gardener stood in the middle of this garden with a smile on his face. His hard work had certainly presented him with many colorful flowers. The sweat on his brow tasted sweet in the magical environment of this park. Everything was simply perfect. The gardener was very satisfied, and it was with great pleasure that he gently strolled along the garden path. In this happy scene, however, there was a hint of sorrow. In one corner of the garden, stood a little patch of grass and there it was this sad and lonely blade of grass shedding tears this blade of grass was not part of the carpet lawns it was part of a small patch surrounded by bricks naturally it felt it did not belong to the lovely garden seeing the grandeur and the beauty around it cursed its very existence. Why did the gardener have to plant me in the first place? Everything around is special in its own way. But look at me. I am just an ordinary grass. The garden is complete even without my pathetic existence. The lonely blade of grass bent low in its sorrow. The peace and joy of the garden was lost on it. In that sad moment, it suddenly felt a gentle touch on its back. Looking up, it saw the gardener bending over. The smile was still on his face and he asked, Why do you feel so bad, my dear? What is there for me to feel good about? Everyone in this garden is so beautiful and wonderful. Everything is special, save me. Who am I? I am just an ordinary blade of grass. I will never be special like the others. Oh my dear little one, please don't feel so lowly. You are irreplaceable. You say that only to make me feel better, I know. No, Durva. What I am saying is the truth. You know my name? Yes. And I have planted you with a purpose. It is Ganesh Chaturthi today. The day chosen for the worship of Lord Ganesha. Do you know that Durva grass is the favorite of Lord Ganesha? I have come to the garden today to pick you for the noble task of worshipping the Lord. In an instant, the day transformed from a sad one into the best in Durva's life. Remember Durva, I have planted you with a purpose. If I wanted another rose or another oak, I could have easily planted that. but. I planted you because I wanted you, Durva. Never compare yourself with others. Each and everything in this garden is here because I need it. Now, wipe away your tears and get ready to go to the feet of Lord Ganesha. These are tears of joy, my dear gardener. The Divine Gardener has planted each and every one of us on this earth with a unique purpose. Just because we do not realize that purpose at a certain point of time in our lives, 
it does not mean that our lives are purposeless or have a purpose lesser than that of somebody else the wise have declared that there is only one purpose of all human life to attain divinity through our own unique path and in our own special time